Good afternoon. Welcome to day 13 of our real time challenge. Uh, unlike previous recordings, this is not being done the day of, this is being done the day before. Just like my To Kill a Dead God series. Not really a big difference. Just thought you guys would like that. But let's move forward today and we should be getting Napoli and Dalmatia to be swearing fealty. Oh. Maybe it actually takes time. Let's see if we can offer any more lords uh, if they want to join us. Uh, seems like a lot of like uh, Catholics or pagans, so we're not going to have any luck up there. Uh, Bulgaria, let's see, they're not going to join. They're at war with the Magyars, and I, even if they weren't, they probably wouldn't want to join. Uh, these guys are not definitely going to join. Uh, Armenian Apostolic, Religious Exemption, no, they, they do not. Oh, maybe Abkhazia. Ah, ooh, they, they're they narrowly, narrowly, narrowly wanting to join us. We just got unlucky. And these guys register us too far away, so I think the most expansion we're going to do is Napoli and Dalmatia. Uh, and also, i got to request a look at the Abbasids. They're, they're led by Caliph al-Mutaz ibn al-Mutawakil. He is a caliph, cynical, arbitrary, and greedy caliph. It was also lustful and an indulgent wastrel. Well, actually being a Sayyid, coursing through the veins of al Mutaz is the blood of the Prophet. He is from House Abbasid, who are the reigning caliphs, who I think relatively recently just overthrew the Umayyads, who fled to Al-Andalus, and so uh, they they have the, the Caliphate of Al-Andalus, but I remember it used to be Umayyad. I think if they unite Hispania, it's Umayyad. They are currently facing both a result, uh, the Frontier District Rebellion, and also a war against Asturias, fighting for Portugal. I think, yeah, it was started 13 days ago, so that was started in real time. And I guess they're exploiting the weakness caused by the Frontier District Rebellion, who have roughly equal forces, but the problem is their forces need to unite because they're coming from this corner and this corner. Well, the, the Umayyads could just take out this guy, then take out this guy while their forces are separated. And who's actually leading that? Let's see. It's uh, the Emirate of Toila Tula, and they hold Madrid, actually. Actually, let's see, this is city walls of Toledo. They hold Toledo. So I think this is the Emirate of Toledo, not the Emirate of... Uh, I, I think that's just how you... How you uh, the Ara like Arabic pronunciation of it. But originally built by the Romans in day of old, these massive walls are significantly expanded under the reign of Wabma, king of the Visigoths. The early Arabic rulers widened them even further, creating a defensive system before a city of kings. So that's actually pretty good, but it's still only a 50... 552 garrison, meaning Al Andalus can see to down. Let's see, actually, they have a special map mode for special buildings, like in God Herja, and they don't. But anyway, I'm Nick D4 VIS. Just a quick episode, because I'm not going to be able to record uh, the day of yeah, uh, tomorrow, so I'll see you guys next time.